Hey there, Ryder the right here, and today let's do some tire math. So I'm getting to a point where actually three of my vehicles need tires, so please pray for my bank account. But I've been shopping around for different tires, and uh, as you know, if you watch my main channel, I put a full lift on the Xterra, and I did a leveling kit on the Titan. So now the wheel wells look kind of giant and I would really like to size up my tires. So I started shopping for tires and to be honest, the, I found all of the tire sizing confusing. So uh, when I'm looking to size up, I think to myself, okay, is a, uh, is a 275 70 18 bigger than a 270 80 18? You know, I'm just, I'm just making numbers up. But the idea is, is it's difficult to understand like, the diameter and how much bigger a tire actually is based on these funky tire sizings. So what I want to do today is make one quick simple video on how to convert a, a measurement like 265 70 18 into an actual diameter like a 30 inch tire or a 33 inch tire and that way you can do this calculation quickly on each tire that you're shopping for to see how much bigger or smaller it will be. Now I made a how to read a tire size video, of, it was years ago, uh, nobody really watched it, but it's pretty simple once you, once you just know what the numbers are supposed to be. So a 30 second explanation is the first number is the width of the tire in millimeters. So uh, we're gonna be converting that, but that's the first number. The second number is the aspect ratio or how tall the tire is in relation to the width. So. For instance, on the Xterra, it has a 265 70 16. That means that the height of the tire is 70% of its width. All right, so you'll see that in the math here coming up. And then the last number, of course, is just your rim size. So 16 would be a 16 inch rim. Now that's all fine and good. However, what we wanna do is say, hey, I have a 30 inch tire right now, because you can go outside and measure it. I wanna go up to a 33. Well, it's not so simple as just going and reading these numbers, right? So we need to convert them. We'll do two examples. I have the Titan stock tire. Uh, well, at least stock on mine, it might be different. I think they came in two different rim sizes, but mine is a 265 70 18, and the Xterra is a 265 70 16. Now, when you look at a tire, we need to know the width of the rim, which we already know, right? It gives it to us, that's 18 inches and we need to know the height of the actual sidewall of the tire itself, because we need to measure, if we wanna measure all the way across the diameter of the tire, that includes the rim and the sidewall of both sides of the tire. So we know the width of the tire in millimeters and we know the aspect ratio, so using those two numbers, we can get the height of our sidewall. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert the width of our tire from millimeters over to inches. And to do that, we take the millimeters, so 265, and we divide it by 25.4. So if we do that math, that means that the width of our tire is 10.43 inches. Well, that's fine and good. We don't really care about the width right now. We wanna find out our height, right? So with this, we know that the height is 70% of the width. So now we just take our width, which is 10.43, and we multiply that by the percentage. So if it's 70%, you would multiply by 0.7. That's what 70% is, right? So times 0.7, there we go. We get 7.3 inches. So that's gonna be the height of one sidewall, right? But if we want the full diameter of the tire, we need to take one sidewall, add it to the rim, and add it to another sidewall, right? Because you're measuring across two sidewalls and the rim to get the full diameter of the tire. So at this point, our next and really our last step is take that 7.3 inches, either multiply it by two or just add them together, and then add in our rim width. So 7.3 plus 7.3, that's the two, that's the two uh, height of the sidewall. And then add in our rim. 
and our rim we know automatically, right, is 18, because it, it tells us. So 18, boom, 32.6. So that is a 32.6 inch tire. Tire companies probably size up, they'll probably call it a 33. Uh, sometimes sizing up is necessary. It's like TVs, right? 70 inch TV is usually like, you know, 68.7 inches if you actually go measure it. So that's great. So we have our stock size for our Titan. There we go, 32.6 inches. Now, let's do it one more time just to kind of walk you through it again. We're gonna do the Xterra stock size, so 265, 70, 16. So we're gonna take our 265 and we're going to divide it by the 25.4. And that gives us 10.43. Hey, look at that. It's the same aspect ratio and the same width as the Titan tire, right? So nothing special here. So we're gonna take our 10.43 and again, aspect ratio is the same. So we have multiplied by 0.7. Again, same number, right? So we're, we're basically the same. The only difference is our rim, our rim width, right? So we take our 7.3 plus, oops, sorry about that. 7.3 plus 7.3 plus this time 16 is our rim width. So that gives us a 30.6 inch tire. No surprises here, right? The math is the same until you get to the rim and the rim is only two inches smaller. So you're gonna be exactly two inches smaller on the tire. So this is our 30 or probably 31 inch tire depending on how they measure it. So just for fun, I wanna give you one, one last example just to kind of drive this home. And this is gonna be the um, Xterra size that I'm trying to size up to. So just for the heck of it, we're gonna do one more example just to show you when I was sizing up or when I'm shopping for tires for the Xterra, I was looking at 285, 75, 16s. So if we do the math again real quick, we'll do 285 divided by 25.4. That gives us 1122. So now we take that 1122, right? That's our, that's our width in inches. And we multiply that by 0.75 this time, because the aspect ratio is 75, and that's 8.415. So I'm gonna round that down to 8.4, 8.4 plus 8.4 plus our rim width, which is 16. And that gives us a 32.8 inch tire, so nearly 33 inch tire. So that means if I'm shopping for my Xterra and I shop for a 285, 75, 16, then my tire is going to be two inches bigger. This works out well because I raised the Xterra two and a half inches. So if we're raising the tire, making the tire about two to two and a quarter inches bigger, it's gonna fill that gap nicely. But that's it, I hope uh, this helps you out. I just wanted one, one source for how to read a tire size and then how to convert it as well. So. Uh, Definitely put down in the comments below if you have any questions or need any clarifications, put them down there. And uh, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.